Hello viewers, welcome to Vidya Pitam. I am Nageshwari, working as an assistant professor in RMK College of Engineering and Technology. So in this video, we are going to see about problems on four variable K map. That is without uh, using don't care. So let us see the example one. Here. Let us take an example as zero, one, four, five, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve. 13 and 15. Let us make a 1 in each min terms. So 1, 1, here is 1, here is 1, 1 and here is 1, 1, 1 and here is also 1, 1 and 1. Now, so we have the combination first we have to make a grouping so therefore this eight we can mark it as a one group and then and then this combination that means this 4 is one combination, right? Okay. So, this combination, we can make it as a one group. Right? Okay. And here, only one term is left out. That is, in min, in min term number 11, here, one term is left out. So, therefore, we can make it as a another largest possible combination. Right? So, therefore, we can make make this value in a quad group combination. That means like this we can make it as a one possible group. Okay. So, these are the different possible groups for this problem. Now, how to write the expression? So, for first group. Okay. So, for first group. So, the a, b variables are changing. So, therefore, we have to leave this. And for C, D, G, C variable is not changing. So, therefore, C bar. And in the second group, so here the D variable is not changing. Therefore, B. And here in C, D, D variable is not changing. So, therefore, D. Then in the third group, the A variable is not changing. So, therefore, A. And uh, here the D variable is not changing. So, therefore, D. So, this is how you have to write the expression for this kind of problem. Now, we will see second example. This is example number 1 and if you, this is example number 2. So, in this example, so let us see f is equal to summation of. So, 5, 7, 8. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. So, let us make 1 in all the min terms, all the given min terms. So, 5, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now, how to make a group? See, in this example, one thing we should understand the concept. Okay. So, that means, say for example, so if you look at this grouping, so immediately we will start group the, this one force. Okay. So, immediately we will start this force and then we will 
again we will do this largest process. So, I, I already discussed in the previous lectures. We have to make a largest combination first, right? Okay. So, therefore, we will make these four as one group. Okay. And here you have the two ones is left out. So, therefore, we will make these four as one group. And here only one is left out. So, therefore, we will make this as a one group. See, actually, so in this type of uh, example, we have uh, one important concept is behind this grouping that is called as redundant group, redundant. So, that means if you see here, so without making this four ones as a single group, so this combination, that means, so, this combination and this four combination and this four combination itself. So, all the ones are grouping each other, right? So, therefore, this, this, this is an, an extra group. This is an extra group. So, this kind of thing is called as redundancy. So, redundant group. Okay, this kind of group is called as redundant group. So, we can remove this group and uh, we can make this three combinations itself and we can frame the equation. So, you understood? So, this kind of situation also will arise when solving the problem. Okay, so, so uh, this concept actually it is called as the implicants. So, this type of concept is called as the implicants. So, that, that means we have um uh, at, uh, on a um, topic that is implicant we can say so that means so the possible combinations we have to look at first okay if uh, if it's so if all the possible combinations are together paired means then we no, no need to uh, group it once again all the uh, all the two or all the four combinations Okay, so such type of concept is called as the implicant or prime implicant we can say or essential prime implicant or we can say. Okay, so we have to be cautious while grouping the uh, terms. Okay, so now in this problem, so already, so this uh, 12 and 8 min terms grouped each other and this 5, 7, uh, 13 and 15 grouped each other. And 14, 15, 10 and 11 combination are also grouped each other. So, therefore, we can remove this group that is 12, 13, 15, 14 is there, no? So, we can remove this group and we can make the equation. So, therefore, so we can remove this group such that, so all the ones are grouped each other, right? Okay, so we have to be cautious, we have to think once or twice before grouping the all the mean terms. Now, for this example, the expressions are, okay, for this example, the expressions are, for this group, the equation is A C bar D bar plus for this group B C bar D for this group a, sorry, so for second group, okay, so for second group, so for second group, B, D and for the third group, A, Okay, so this is the expression for this problem. Okay, now let us see this example. So, reduce the, reduce the mean term using mapping the expression for f is equal to, to uh, mean terms of 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 13 and 14. Now, let us start the example. Okay, so now. Mark, mark 1 in the given win terms that is 2, 3, 6, 7, 
8, 10, 11, 13 and 14. Clear? Okay. So, therefore, so how we can reduce it? We have to start from the maximum possible grouping, right? We have to start from the maximum possible grouping. So, therefore, so these two is one grouping. So, these two is one grouping and uh, these two is one grouping. So, we will start with that, right? Okay, that is one type of grouping. And then the next one is what? This 4 is one grouping. This 4 is one grouping, right? Okay, so this is one grouping. Now, the next one is? Next, this one is left out, right? So, therefore, we can make these 4 is another grouping, right? Okay, and uh, again, again we can make this adjacent and this adjacent is one grouping, okay? And finally, this one is left out. So, no other option, this is a single grouping. Clear all of you? Okay, that is, so this 2, 3, okay, this 2, 3 and uh, 10, 11 is one set of grouping and now this 2, 3 and 6, 7 is the second set of grouping and then this 2, 6, 14 and 10 is the third set of grouping and this 8 and 10 is the another set of grouping and finally, this is the grouping, right? Okay, now can we write the expression? So, therefore, the expression is given by, so f is equal to, so this 2, 3 and uh, 10, 11 is one grouping, right? So, therefore, the expression is given by, so here the b is not changing, so therefore, b and the next one is c. So, b, c, okay? So, plus, so this 2, 3, 6, 7. So, here, so a is not changing, so a bar and now the next one is c. So, a bar c plus this 4 is one group, right? Okay? So, therefore, 1, 1, 2, this 4 is one grouping, right? So, therefore, here, so C, C, D is not changing, right? So, therefore, C, D bar, okay, C, D bar, okay, and now this 8 and 10 is one uh, double grouping. So, therefore, so A, B bar, okay, A, B bar, and now here the D is also not changing. So, therefore, D bar, then finally, the single grouping that is nothing but A, B, C bar, D, okay, C bar, D. So, this is the expression for the given main terms. So, we will see the some more examples in the next video. Thank you.